Hi folks, welcome back to Pop Up for Slime Jeff. I'm Heidi. And we are back with more of The Mandalorian. Yay! This week, chapter 10, um, which uh, I don't know the title of yet. I believe it's The Passenger? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, we will soon find out. Yes. Um, last week, we launched the premiere of mm -hmm. Mando, and Heidi, if you can recap what happened in... Um, so he was sent on a quest, had to find uh, more Mandalorians, right? Well, he's got to find where the child comes right, from. Right, but that, the first step in that was to find more Mandalorians. Right. Okay, so... So he was told by a, a short-lived, uh, unscrupulous uh, character that he could find one, or the only one that he knew of, was on Tatooine. Um, um, a planet not unfamiliar to those of us who are fans of Star Wars. And the Mandalorian that he found on Tatooine was not exactly a Mandalorian. No, not even close. Just someone wearing Mandalorian armor. That's where we get to meet Cop Vanth for mm -hmm. the first time. Yay! If you're not a book reader, anyway, for the first time. And uh, as played by Timothy Oliphant, uh, big casting coup there. Great casting on oh that part. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, made for a fun episode, a really Western-style episode. Um, got to see the Sand People, yes? Yes. And what were they after, honey? Uh, they were after a dragon. That's right, a crate dragon. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't, like, is it crate? 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 It's crate. K-R-A-Y-T, I believe. Crate. Okay, crate. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I, yeah, sorry, Star not Wars to be Not to be confused with crate, C-R-A-I-T, which was the planet that they were on with the red salt. So many names. I, uh, you know, I'm a fan, but I definitely don't have, like, the Gold Star A-plus, like, prime membership into the Star Wars fan club. Like, I don't know all of those things. Like, I know a lot, but not all those things. Gotcha. So. So you're saying that you're not a uh, Mark Riley, say, uh, of uh, no, Star Wars fan club. not even close. All right. So our kid Napsok. No. Definitely don't not. have that encyclopedic knowledge. Not um, of, of Star Wars. I, have I don't an, either. I have an encyclopedic knowledge, but like it only goes like maybe like paragraphs deep into a lot of things. But I, I don't have like a one topic full on like I know everything about that topic. I'm not I'm not an idiot savant about that sort of stuff. Like, yeah, I would say that's kind of how I am with my comic book knowledge. There's a lot that I, that I know that's packed in there. I know a little bit about a lot of things. Whether or not I can recall it all, I need to. <laughs> There's that another too. Another matter entirely. That's why multiple choice is better for me. If I can see the answer there, I'll go, oh yeah, that's it. I didn't remember it, but I can remember it if I saw it. If you were with us for our last reaction, though, um, we did encourage you to watch Star Wars Rebels if you haven't already. Yes. We still encourage you to do that. Um, we're going to dive into Chapter 10 here. Uh, let's make it very clear. This is not a market substitute. You should be watching this thing yes. first on Disney+, Plus um, because that lets the creators and the crew and the cast know that you are on board for this ride. Do that first, support the show, and then you can watch us react to this episode. Mm -hmm. um, if you want the full reaction, you can find that on Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. Aside from that, you know what you got to do. If you like content like this, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We love it when you do that. Yeah. Uh, we're a tiny channel, but we're growing in little, little bitty increments, and we pay attention to everyone. Yeah. So thank you, all of you who have joined us since the last episode. Yeah, definitely all right. join all the people joining us on board. So thank you. I'm ready to see what we get in this episode. Me too. All right, here we go. Yes. It's the same trick that Joe has used. Not the Joe, it's the uh, Ewoks. Oh. Oh. I was going to say, did a certain... Uh, Oh, man. Oh. Oh, no. wonder if a certain bubble tea-loving uh, mercenary put them up to this. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait. Don't hurt the child. Okay. Here. It's yours. You got a remote control for that thing? Maybe. Yep. <laughs> Aww. The contact wants passage to the system. Do you vouch for them? On my life. Okay. Fine. And 
you want me to travel sub light deals off it's one sector over moving fast is the only thing keeping me safe these are mitigating circumstances what do you mean mitigating What's the cargo? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, it. <laughs> it's her spawn. She needs her eggs fertilized by the equinox or her line will end. Aww. Uh oh, don't eat those. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh. We need to not. Little baby. Just. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh no. No, 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 no. That is not food. Don't do that again. That well, not like she didn't count them. This is Razor Crest. Is there a problem? We know that your transponder is not emitting. Yes, I'm pre Empire surplus. I'm not required to run a beacon. We can't confirm you're not Imperial, you're gonna have to follow us to the outpost at Adelphi. Still on your tab. Oh, wait. There it is. Transmitting now. Ah, be quiet. What's that? Uh, nothing. The hypervac is drawing off the exhaust manifold. Oh, they're talking about you. Mm-hmm. Um. in the proximity of New Republic Crestal Transport Box 5. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Boring conversation anyway. Hey, it's Dave Floney. Hey. So Dave Floney remembered him. Oh. Or whoever Dave Floney is playing here. Yes. Ooh. Look okay. at Same girl. <laughs> Ooh. They were higher up than I thought. I know. I got him. Target computer active. Stay on target. Come on, Razor Crest. Don't make us do it. What trick you got up your sleeve, Mando? Uh. Ooh. Fly casual? Alright. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my that goodness. That is not bueno. No. Ooh, okay. We're done falling? Perhaps if you open the refrigerator and look in the egg area. It's right next to the meat store. No. Oh my god. I told you not to do that. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> oh my god. If we get off this frozen tomb with our lives, I thought honoring one's word was a part of the Mandalorian tone. I guess those are just stories for children. Ugh. What are you looking at? You've been eating your eggs. Yeah. Which is a sentence I really don't want it to say again. <laughs> there is that. When did she go? Oh. It's gathered itself. Oh. I know it's warm. The night's coming fast. And I can't protect you out here. Oh. 
By the way, a few of these are missing. Stop. No. No. Oh no. If so, where's mom? Oh, wait. What? That's a spider looking thing. Remember in that episode of Rebels, the spidery looking things that were on that one world, they look like squid almost, like big head, but they had. Dad, Dad, I ate one of them and then they're all hatching. Oh. This is not a good, not a good spot to be, man. Yeah. Oh. There's the bigger ones. Uh huh. Yeah, wait. Uh-huh. Uh. Go. Go, go. Back to the ship. Yeah. So. Eesh. And of course, you gotta be careful not to bring the whole place down on yourself. Right? With those big, uh, icicle things. Select tights. Select, yeah, select tights. Or just icicles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, they're in the they're in the ship. They're in the ship. Oh no! No, oh, get off! Get off! Get off! Oh, oh. Huh? Oh. There you go, Mama. Yes, thank you. That is the effective way to treat spiders. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Get off! Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh oh no. no, there's no way they can leave in that now! What do you do? Oh! What? Who? Is it the X-Wings? the New Republic, isn't it? Yep. Abduction of prisoner X6911. However, onboard security records show that you apprehended three priority culprits from the wanted register. Security records also show that you put your own life in harm's way to try to protect that of Lieutenant Davin from the New Republic Correctional Corps. Is this true? Am I under arrest? Technically, you should be. But these are trying times. That's not looking so bueno. Or that door gets sucked off its rails. I'm kidding. We'd all be dead. Sweet dreams. This is just like a toddler. Suddenly it's like serenity. It is. Oh, I was not expecting it to end there. All right, that is it for The Mandalorian Episode 2, or, well, Season 2, Episode 2. Technically Chapter 10, The Passenger. Yeah. Yeah, diagram, the whole deal. Yeah. Uh, did you see who directed that episode? No. Peyton Reed. Oh, neat. Do you know who that is? Nope. I didn't think you did. Nope. Um, <laughs> if you tell me that, if you remind me, I might remember. Uh, let me put it to you this way. I'm sexy. I'm cute. I'm popular to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. Also Ant-Man. Yes. And Ant-Man too. Okay, okay. Yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Um, so, yeah, very... <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, oh, a I lot still... happened in this episode, but it's just so... I cringe just every time with the eggs like, oh, oh yeah please stop on. but you're right it is like a toddler like all the worst things like yeah don't no matter how many times you say don't do it yeah don't put that in your mouth no you can't drive the house by sticking a key in the electrical socket yeah those sorts of things <laughs> um okay so you remembered that we saw these things and rebels 
um, good on them for translating it into live action. I, I think these are the same kind. If they're not exactly the same kind of thing, very similar. Yeah, they're related. It's been a while since I've seen that episode. They're related, uh, species-wise, I'm sure. Um, I think those things, though, were like in the desert. or like a really Right, so there's some but... desert ones and some snow ones. and Like stormtroopers. They yeah. just look different depending on their environment. Yeah, that. Anyway, um, yeah, I was... This was so packed full of things, but so fast-paced. Like, I was not expecting it to end here. I was really expecting we would see at least another 10, 15 minutes of something. So good on them for keeping that, even though, like... The majority of this was them stuck on a planet keeping that sort of like momentum up so i was wow that was really great but the um i have to say that for being such a different kind of critter um the passenger was like the effects of it were really cool like yeah. i never i never stopped thinking of it uh of uh, you know mama frog as her own character um you yeah. know, and we haven't really had that since Queel, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. we haven't really had reason to get attached to an alien character. Mm -hmm. um, so I really like that. There was a lot of, in spite of there being no real communication, yeah. except for that one little bit that we got, um, I still already felt attached to her and liked that she was unwilling to give up in the face of adversity. And, yeah. and also that she, I think, saw that you know, in spite of him wanting to say, you know, deals off, we're kind of, you know, we're stuck, that she, it was like she was really trusting him to be a decent guy. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you can't, you can't discount the guy who carries a toddler around with him everywhere. You know that he's obviously doing, you know, something right there, you know, taking care of it. Of course, he needs to take a little more control keeping the this kid from eating Yeah, the perhaps ass, some otherwise. discipline. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, um, I think she's trusting him because she can see that he's taking care of a child as well. So she, he, hoping he at least that, has some understanding. Yeah, hoping that she, he understands her point of view. Yeah, I, uh, for all the, the comedy bits of this, um, the spiders were just so dang oh, creepy. Like, like, yeah. Okay, and you stop the screen right on there where we're seeing like whole bunches <laughs> of them. And I can't like look down even. Thank you. It was, uh -huh. Yeah, it was just like. I was feeling them crawling on me, and I thought they were going to be coming out from behind me, and I just didn't want to have to... Uh, I'm you not, know those I'm, kinds of spiders aren't real, though, right? I do know those kinds of spiders aren't real. Thankfully, because some of those were big. Yeah, but it didn't stop me from feeling all the creepy crawlies. Ugh, don't like it. I used to be that way as a kid. If I watched any kind of nature thing and they showed, like, ants or something, I'd be freaking out, feeling like I, I was no. crawling on me. Yeah, and of course, I work as a nurse, and plenty of things don't phase me, but... But spiders make her want to burn the house down. Yeah, pretty much that. Um, yeah, I liked that we got... I, I, I really have a strong feeling that the scavengers that tried to take the armor, or at least a segment of it, mm -hmm. may have been sent to stop him by both of that. Maybe not. Maybe they're just... Scavengers. Maybe they were just scavengers, but... Um, I feel like it might have been like, hey, stop this guy, take whatever you want, as long as he's on his feet tall, you, yeah. you know, or, or, you know, kill him, and then I'll I'll take what I want, and you guys take what you want, whatever. I maybe, like, maybe not, but... Yeah, um, I mean, there had, I feel like there should have been more reason to that, other than, like, the visual gag at the end of it, like, you know, having that, that thing fall from the sky, <laughs> which is funny, yeah. um, and, but, you know, kind of, like, showing him as resourceful, and, like, you know, not everything is just quick cuts to people speeding across the land and whatever, it's like, there are still things out there that are going to get you, so, yeah. you know, he, he, he helped them kill that dragon, but he still got slung in a little trip line uh, on his speeder and had to walk the rest of the way home or to his, where his ship was. So he didn't even get to eat that meat himself. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I um, I like the notion of him, you know, and he, he's already in this situation yeah. uh, with the child where he has to care for someone who can't care for themselves mm -hmm. and feels this responsibility. Which has already changed him as a character. Yeah. Um, made him turn his back on, you know, his job mm -hmm. uh, last season. Yeah. And um, and he's made several decisions informed by that decision, certainly. Um, so here again, we find him, you know, having to protect and 
um, fight for someone that can't fight for themselves. It's yeah. in a bad. I mean, it, clearly she she shot herself a couple of spiders, so she yeah. wasn't completely helpless. But he feels some responsibility for his passenger. So I like that. I like that we're seeing more of that side of his personality. And I just really like this is you know this is not a an episode that would have been great to like start the season oh, with. No. But it was a lot of fun because, um, you know, it, it further humanizes Mando for us. Um, you know, he's he's still willing to do the job, and you mess with him or the kid, you're going to pay for it. We got to see that early on. Yep. But uh, he's not without compassion. And, um, you know, the notion of, you know, not using light speed um, and, you know, making this trip sort of long form, um, and that being dangerous, I mean, he yeah. would know, he and, would know. Uh, and and he was not wrong. Um, I like the the bit with the New Republic guys. Yeah, although um, they were help, they were helpful, but not very. <laughs> well, but I mean, he let him on a chase when he didn't have to as well. So yeah, I can see them not being happy with that. But yeah, I I like that that was a there was a callback to that, and I wondered why they showed us that robot in the previously on. Now it makes sense. We yeah. need to remember that. Yeah. That that robot was still there. Killed by the child, if you recall. I do. So, interesting. Interesting stuff there. And I wonder if we're going to get any other callbacks to that prison transport yeah. thing in this episode. Or, I mean, in this season. Um, any other thoughts? No, I enjoyed this. Now, yeah, you were absolutely right that this would not have made a great season opener. But it's a, I, I eagerly await how the next episode stacks next to this like how right. like how these are all going to fit together um i'm really enjoying uh just kind of the the journey with Amando and the child i uh i get where some people who are used to like shows um that have more like like story heavy arc sort of thing like we've got one thing that he's trying to do and these are all the things that are happening on the way to that and sure i can see where some people may not enjoy that sort of process but i'm really loving it well but we we also learned in the first season of the mandalorian that sometimes those little side missions yeah uh provide allies or you know things that come into play later handy. so come in handy yeah um so i'm i'm definitely on board with this it was an enjoyable episode a lot of a lot of fun yeah. a lot of creep factor with the spiders but Ugh. also a lot of um just shaking my head as a child and thinking if he were mine i'd you know a, a jolly good smack on the bottom to quote the doctor sure of course um or or at least you know uh, some some form of grounding yes um but yeah <laughs> that's gonna do it for us for this episode of The Mandalorian, be back next week for Chapter 11, um, and we'll see what Mando and the child get up to next, and see if they've dropped Mama off by then, or if we get to have her in the next episode as well. I guess we'll find out. We will find out. Anyway, if you like reactions like this, be sure and hit the thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. That really helps us out. If you'd like to help us further, feel free to join us on Patreon over there for five bucks a month. You can have full reactions to everything that we watch, which includes this show, Farscape, uh, she's watching Deep Space Nine on her own, so if you don't want to have to look at me, you can watch that. And uh, we're going to be doing some more things coming up, including WandaVision and uh, a surprise that we're keeping under our hats for now. Uh, anyway, that's it for us. Until next time, folks, bye.